Have you ever wondered if there's things that you can do or say to make a man miss you? Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about seven shocking things that'll make a man miss you and one more of you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, before we get into this content, I want to give a disclaimer and let y'all know that you can't make a man do anything that they don't want to do. Actually, that's human nature. You can't make anybody do anything that they don't want to do. So in this video, I'm not trying to use any type of weird manipulation trap, but there are some things that you can do or say that can help a person miss you and want more of you. But per usual, I need for you to put in the comment section, let me know about some things that you have done in the past to make a man miss you. Or if you are a man, let us know in the comment section what a woman can do to make you want to miss them. Let's talk about it. So I have to add this in here. This video is about a number of different things. This can be about dating someone and you want them to miss you. This can be about you broke up with somebody and you want to get them back and want them to miss you and want more of you. Or this can be you're also in a long lasting or current relationship and they're just slacking off a little bit and you want them to do better and be better. This is for all of that. So the first thing is going to be a little weird, but here's a shocking thing that can make a man miss you. And it is to leave him and leave him alone. Now you're probably like, Keandra, I want this man to come back to me. I want him to be in my life. I want him to do all of the things that he needs to do. But for some odd reason, I feel like when a man knows that you're a good woman, keyword good woman, and that you're doing all of the things and you're that girl and you're supposed to be the one or the person that they want to spend some time with. When you start to set your boundaries that this isn't okay and if you keep doing these things, then we're gonna have to go ahead and part ways because we're no longer on the same page. I have seen countless times that is the thing that makes men get their ish together. Knowing that they're about to lose the thing that they want, <laughs> helps them to get on their P's and Q's, helps them to be on their A gang, helps them to start doing and saying the things that they were supposed to start doing and saying all along. Now, I don't think this is right because I think that they should be doing those things from the beginning and throughout the duration of the dating or the relationship. It shouldn't have to get to the point where you're gonna lose me in order for you to get your stuff together, but this happens a lot. So I'm not saying that you should play games and pretend like you are gonna leave them just so they can get their stuff together, but only do this one if you really are truly going to leave them because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. The second shocking thing that can make a man miss you is to create a little mystery. Sometimes we give everything up front all of the time and then there's no wondering, there's no, anticipation there isn't any of that there and so it makes for a little bit of a boring situation so I would encourage you to create a little bit of mystery I'm not saying lie I'm not saying being deceitful and I'm also not saying withhold information but what I am saying is to peel back different layers of yourself and give different elements of who you are over time so you don't want to give everything up front and all of who you are but leave some mystery there and say hey back in the high school I used to be a figure skater or you know in the future I want to go skydiving leave some elements of mystery some things that might <gasps> shock them a little bit to say like wow I never thought that you would be the person that did that before in the past or who would want to do that moving forward so leaving a little mystery just keeps things a little <laughs> spicy. So in addition to letting him discover new aspects of you over time, we're, we're moving to the third shocking thing that can make a man miss you. And that is maintaining your independence. I've said this a million and one times in all of my other videos, continue to live your life, boo. Whether you are in a relationship or not, you still are a unique individual with wants, needs, goals, desires, hobbies, and interests. Don't let being in a relationship or a lack thereof create some distance between the things that you most enjoy. You still have a whole life that you should be living outside of this man. So when you are out doing your thing and you are doing your hobbies and you going shopping and you're traveling and you're learning new things and you're just being your unique self, it gives him the opportunity to miss you, to miss your presence because they're like, oh, she out here living her best life without me. And now she's not giving me the time, the energy, the text messages, the dates, all of the things that she was giving me before. So now I kind of miss her a little bit. 
The third shocking thing that can make a man miss you and want more of you is to be his peace. Now, I don't know any man on the face of the planet unless they're just a horrible human being that wants chaos all the time. People genuinely want peace. They genuinely want calmness. They genuinely want somebody in their space that's not going to be all turned up 24 seven. And being his peace isn't about just being quiet and humble, meek and mild and not saying anything, but it's about not bringing drama to his doorstep. It's about you being the drama filled person. It's about you allowing yourself to operate with your own thoughts and feelings at a very equilibrium level. Because we all know people that just attract stuff, right? It's like every time you around them, they're drama, there's physical fights, there's arguments, there's issues, there's attitude. The vibe is just off. You don't want to have the vibe being off with you because that's going to make him want to pull back from you and not want you in his space and on his life journey at all. So it's not going to actually make him want to miss you, but it's going to make him want to be far away from you. The fifth shocking way to make a man miss you and want more of you is to surprise him occasionally. Now this kind of goes back to the create a little mystery one that I gave you guys earlier, but this one is slightly different. It has a little caveat to it because you're not just creating mystery and keeping things spontaneous, but you're doing things that he actually enjoys. Could be a random text message, a little spicy text message. If you're into that, this could be unexpected plans or a date or some type of thoughtful gift. This can be getting him something that he actually needs and will be using on a daily basis. But genuinely, all this is about is creating memorable moments so he will have something to look forward to with you in particular. So if he has something to look forward to, that means he has to miss you in order to look forward to something. You, you get my drift here? The sixth shocking way to make a man miss you and want more of you is to speak his love language and his apology language. I know we talk about love language a lot on my channel, or you probably heard of them because of Gary Chapman. He has a book called The Five Love Languages, and he also has an online quiz. So if you haven't, or you don't know your love language and your partner or your partners to be love language, you should probably do that. But he also has a concept called an apology language. So this is also similar to love languages. Love languages is basically giving love to another person the way that they want love to be received, not the way that we want to give them love. So if say for instance, I love gifts, but my partner loves words of affirmation and encouragement, it's not a good idea for me to go buy him gifts because he probably wouldn't care about that. But for me to say, hey babe, you look good today. I'm so proud of you. You're doing a great job. I can't wait to support you in your endeavors. That's going to fill up his love tank. The same is true for an apology language. So if you are having discord or disagreements or arguments or fights in your relationship and you're trying to reconcile and come back to one another, an apology language and knowing how they like to be apologized to is important. There's also five of these, which I'm not going to break down in this video. Maybe I'll do so in another video, but understanding how they want to be apologized to in order for there to be reconciliation is so important. And last but not least, the seventh way to make a man miss you and want more of you before I give my final thoughts is to be playful. Playfulness is something that is so underrated. Have you ever met with somebody or known somebody who's just so serious all the time? It's just like, they don't smile, they don't laugh, you can't joke with them because they get all offended. They're very much just like a straight, mm, type of person. Well, that can be cool and all, but sometimes you want to have a little playfulness. You want to kind of be silly. You want to add the little quirks and the little jokes and the little jabs, all in playful fun and all just from a place of love, but also too knowing that life is going to throw you lemons. And sometimes you just have to laugh. Sometimes you have to not take yourself so serious or your partner so serious or life so serious, because if you do, it will consume you. So think about ways that you can be a little playful. So say for instance, you in the kitchen cooking, and he might come behind you and pick you up or, you know, something like that. Or you guys are in the car driving and taking a little road trip and you guys are talking, you're throwing little jabs and little jokes like, oh, yeah, I seen you the other day and you were looking. Da, da, da. It's just so important to have some fun and playfulness in your relationship, because who wants to be in a boring, serious relationship? 
for the rest of their life. You got to add a little spice. You got to add a little playfulness in there too. Now, let me give my final thoughts on this. Obviously, there are a million one things that you could be doing and worried about instead of making a man miss you. I firmly believe that you need to be worried about yourself. Like if you are leveling up spiritually, emotionally, relationally, financially, and focusing on you, you're going to eventually attract the right person or your person and your partner that you're in a relationship with is also going to level up so you guys can be on the same page. So I don't think these things that I mentioned here is a end all be all, nor do I think you should do these things to play games and tricks because I'm not into that. We are, we don't do that on this channel. Okay. But what I am encouraging to do is you to be real with yourself. If you love somebody, if you care about them, if you want more of them, if you miss them, why aren't we just saying those things? We are big on effective two-way communication on this channel. So if you miss somebody, instead of acting all weird and trying to do all of these tactics and manipulation to get them back or to make them miss you, just tell them, you know what? You crossed my mind today. I really miss your presence. I really miss being around you. And then you see where that lands because that person, again, might miss you too. And then now y'all reconnected or they may not miss you. And you know that that is an indicator that this person is not the best option for you. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.